there was a boulder shooting a suspect who is a 21 year old arvada man was arrested on 10 counts of first degree murder he buys a gun six days before this shooting kills 10 people including one police officer who responded to the scene and uh the age range was from 20 to 65 years old the 10 people shot okay. and killed by a gunman on monday in uh, okay. boulder king supers ranged in age 20 from uh, 2065 included at least one grocery store worker and a police officer rushing to the rescue that cop was looking for a new job in the process of this he had seven kids and was worried of this exact thing happening yeah no that's uh, it's it's really really unfortunate what happened to that that cop straight up that's a that's a that's the dude who's doing his job 100 percent, and uh he he died a hero the 21 year old from arvada he uh wore a wore a tactical vest carried a handgun and a long gun a ruger ar 556 that he had purchased six days earlier according to his arrest warrant affidavit which was released tuesday he did not answer many questions asked by arresting officers about the shooting in the store in its parking lot and is expected to face 10 counts of first degree murder uh boulder chief uh boulder police chief maris uh herald identified the suspect as ahmed al aliwi alissa authorities said that there's an extensive inst extensive investigation into his background but that he has lived in the u.s for most of his life so as soon as this happened uh now all hell has broken loose it's no longer someone having a bad day which obviously is not an acceptable retort in this circumstance as well by the way so for the record, Alyssa has a minor criminal history in Colorado. According to the Colorado Bureau, Bureau of Investigation and Courts records, he was convicted of misdemeanor assault in 2018 for an incident that happened in 2017 and was sentenced to two months probation and 48 hours of community service. Uh, at the time when he, he was 18, he attacked a classmate at the Arvada West High School, according to an affidavit filed in the case. He punched the classmate in the head without warning. And then when the boy fell to the ground, he continued to punch him. So no like uh, significant priors uh, beyond that either. I mean, that's a that's potentially something that's potentially someone who should have been hit with a red flag law. But, you know, we can't have that. That's pretty significant, dude. It's a big jump, guys. The fuck are you talking about from uh, two 18 year olds uh, punching one another to, you know, doing a, a, a mass fucking murder, like a like literally a, a terror attack, like a lone wolf terror attack is it kind of a leap. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of a jump. That should be something that comes up in your fucking criminal record, which probably should give second looks or even completely discontinues uh, you from getting a weapon without a, a, an additional psych profile. That's my point. But having said that, it is a massive jump from like someone being like, oh, he attacked a classmate. So obviously like, uh, you know, he was going to be a mass shooter. The serve as a piece of grocery store for being open during the pandemic. Wonder if it had anything to do with it. What? No, I have no idea what the fuck happened, guys. I don't know. I don't know what the fucking motive is. I have no idea. Idea. two mass shootings in one week does this america on his downfall no man it's just america back at it again like what the fuck do you mean mass shootings are very common covid lockdowns kind of stopped that from happening so we're back maybe maybe people who were like trying to reopen the economy were just trying to reopen it so they can we can go back to fucking doing mass shootings again are you seriously stating that someone who has a high school fight someone who has a high school fight should get a criminal psychological profile before he obtains a gun well then fuck it psychological profiles for everyone who wants to obtain a gun what a fucking bullshit take that is Oh, wait, no, I, I do think that, yes. Yeah, no, I, I, I think that would be great. If you want to fucking murder dildo, which are very cool and very fun to fucking use, I admit, then it should be a little bit harder to fucking get the murder dildo. It's literally just a murder dildo, okay? I don't give a fuck if a parchment says that this is a God-given right to you. I am a human being with a brain cell that has the capacity to comprehend that, that you know, this notion that like the founding fathers wanted everyone to be armed with RPGs is an idiotic notion. And if you look throughout history, it's a relatively new Supreme Court decision or a relatively new interpretation from the Supreme Court in comparison to how people have seen the Second Amendment throughout uh american history it's absolutely ridiculous uh to assume that everyone should have a fucking ar-15 and if people are gonna have ar-15s then they should be able to demonstrate that they know how to use it and they're fucking responsible this is the none of the things i'm saying are controversial universal background checks no more straw purchases no more gun show loopholes you literally have to fucking show that you have the you demonstrate the capabilities that you have to actually fucking uh, be able to use the gun appropriately kind of similar to a license system i do not give a fuck if the government has access to this information that's just the reality it's ridiculous it is completely fucking ridiculous that this is a legitimate goddamn conversation that we're having i also want to discontinue ar-15s in its entirety and ar-15 style of weapons in its entirety but that's a whole separate conversation we already have too many in circulation to begin with yeah they're fucking fun to shoot i know i shoot them i've shot them all right i understand but it's just fun
Like, it's just a hobby. You're being ridiculous. You're not saving anyone. You're not saving yourself. You're not fuck. It has no utility beyond a fucking hobby, okay? You want to have a cool thing that you fuck around with and shoot and know that and and know that like you have this powerful toy that could end someone's life if need be. Now, this doesn't uh, pertain to people who legitimately use it for fucking hunting and shit, but no one's hunting with an AR-15, motherfucker. Write as many paragraphs as you want. Ultimately, I, I find it really fucking stupid uh, that uh, this is not even common sense. Countries that have looser gun restrictions have more gun violence. America, in, in uh, with respect to comparable OECD nations, has an incredibly high rate of gun violence. It's like unheard of in other countries. We've had this argument back and forth a gajillion times over. It's it, literally the dumbest fucking argument ever. Switzerland has higher rates of gun ownership, and therefore they have higher rates of gun violence in comparison to other European countries, but it's nothing in comparison to the United States. Why? Because at least in the country of Switzerland, they have some reasonable gun control. If you want to have a well-regulated militia, then fucking regulate it, dumbass. You can't just... But well-regulated militia doesn't mean like give every Tom, Dick, and Harry an AR-15 that they can shove up their assholes or handguns too, for that matter. Democrats in power media starts talking about gun control again, kind of sus. Well, the fucking baboons that are saying like, well, Joe Biden is president, so Muslim attacks are happening again. Also, don't recognize that, like, no, there were fucking Muslim uh, terror attacks in the beginning of Trump's presidency as well. There was a dude who fucking rammed a car into, into a bunch of people. I think it was, like, in New York, right? In the beginning of Trump's presidency as well. It happens. It's way, way, way more rare in regards to, like, the shooter or the terrorist being Muslim is way, way, way more rare than the shooter being a white supremacist. First, white Muslim? No, Muslims can be white. That's, like, so dumb. That is also an incredibly dumb argument because this dude is fucking Syrian. The Boulder dude is Syrian. Syrians are literally classified as fucking white. I am a white Muslim. So people who are being like, I can't believe, blah, 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 blah. I can't believe that people are saying he's, uh, he's white. Like they're crazy. No, like motherfucker is white. Okay. Just like I am. I am white, but I'm Muslim. Do you think you should get the death penalty? No, I don't think anyone should get the death penalty. I also don't think the fucking, I, I don't think the, the dude who shut up in Atlanta should get the death penalty either because I don't believe in the death penalty. I am anti-capital punishment. Anyway, let's see what the fuck Biden had to say about this from the top. We can close the loopholes in our background check system, including the Charleston loophole. That's one of the best tools we have right now to prevent gun violence. The Senate should immediately pass, let me say it again, the United States Senate, I hope some are listening, should immediately pass the two House pass bills that close loopholes in the background check system. These are bills that receive votes of both Republicans and Democrats in the House. This is not and should not be a partisan issue. This is an American issue. It will save lives, American lives. And we have to act. We should also ban assault weapons in the process. I'll have much more to say as we learn more. Can Biden alone be clear. pass the needed legislation that he's advocating for? Fuck no, dude. We're not going to get shit. If you think that guns are going to be controlled in any meaningful capacity in the aftermath of this, you haven't been in America for too long or your eyes have been closed. I said this. I've been saying this since fucking Sandy Hook, dude. Okay. When that shit happened and we went back to the norm a week later, it was over. All right. It was done. There will never be there. It, it won't happen. If you, if you kill white children in a fucking daycare and we can't get any sort of gun control, it's not happening. There is no amount of cruelty that you can watch and not completely overlook because you want to play with your murder dildo. That's just the truth. I'm sorry. That's literally the truth. Gun manufacturers are incredibly powerful in this country. It's one of the few viable, robust industries that we have here in the United States of America. And whatever they want goes. Gun manufacturers do not want regulation. Gun manufacturers want you to be fucking terrified. They want you to buy all the cool parts. They want you to buy as many guns as possible. And people will keep buying it. And they want zero regulation to be around it. And there are a fuckload. There are millions of responsible gun owners. Okay, there are millions of responsible gun owners, certainly. They keep their guns safe. They keep it in a fucking safe. They transport it. That's like dissected. You know, they put it together at the fucking shooting range or whenever they're actually going out shooting. There are millions of fucking gun owners that just use it exclusively to hunt. 
There are some areas in America where it makes sense that you would need to have a fucking handgun or a firearm to defend yourself because you live in bumfuck nowhere. Cops are not going to fucking show up. Not that it would ever come to that point, but I totally understand why you would need to have that. But because of the way that the gun manufacturers have set this argument up as like a constitutional one and one that pertains to the American consumer identity of like being able to have a murder dildo is a part of your fucking character a part of your existence, you're never going to be able to put a dent in meaningful, well-intentioned regulation as it pertains to purchasing weapons. Abolishing the NRA in and of itself is not going to solve the problem either. NRA is fucking themselves over because they tried to get into the content space, which was really stupid. Come on, NRA, what are you, dumb? You think you can do what I do? Get the fuck out of here. It's not just the NRA. It is a culture war issue that Republicans have latched on because it takes a prong of American identity and just fucking rams it into another one. Americans love because they have nothing else. We have no sense of community. We have nothing. We have no sense of purpose in our day-to-day -day lives. We, we feel so profound amounts of alienation from our work. So we only associate our culture and our identity with our consumption. That's it. And guns are a part of that. We are consuming that. Gun culture is directly tied to the identity of so many fucking Americans. So when you try to when you try to ban guns, you're basically saying, fuck you, I don't care about your identity. Like, fuck yourself. Fuck everything you believe in. It's sad, but it's the truth. So it's a chicken or the egg kind of situation. Like, was it the NRA that was so successfully created this culture? Or were people so desperate to look for any sort of uh, consumption, commodity consumption, to tie to their, uh, closely tie to their fucking identities? Is it the, the violence that you see? all around who knows I, but it's a multitude it's a collection of all of those uh reasons as to why gun culture is so profoundly important for so many goddamn americans and i say this is someone who likes shooting guns motherfucker i like shooting guns they're fun as fuck okay fully automatic very fun i've shot automatic shotguns i've shot dracos i've shot fucking ar-15s i've shot uh all, all manner of different uh handguns it's fun i totally understand it but anyone who tries to Take it one step further and acts like, you know, this is, I need this AR-15 brother for fucking home defense. Like, shut the fuck up. You don't need the AR-15 for home defense. You want the AR-15 because it looks cool, motherfucker. You, you just it. That's literally it. That's the reason. You're too much of a pussy to admit it, though. It's cool. It's tactic cool. You get all the, all, all the little custom mods. It's basically the uh, uh, toxic masculine equivalent of a fucking Gucci bag, okay? It's in the same price range, too. It, it, that's literally it. Okay, the problem is the Gucci bag doesn't fucking murder people. The only utility for a gun is murder, is to end a life. Yeah, it's the RGB computer for military wannabes, exactly. And people who were in the military, too. Yeah, gun companies love this cycle because the threat of law drives gun sales up. Yeah, of course, of course. That's the other sad part about it. AR is easier to use than a handgun. I would totally take my AR-15 for home defense. No, motherfucker, you should be able to get a handgun for home defense. And also go through the fucking proper training to be able to use it appropriately. That's my point. Like, learn how to use a goddamn pistol. What the fuck? What is this? It's an insane fucking take, dude. Again, unless you are literally defending your home from a fucking death squad, okay? You think that they're gonna knock down your fucking door and you're gonna need to tactically take down multiple assailants, okay? At the same time, you do not need an AR-15 for home defense. Use a fucking shotgun and then, you know, work on the drywall, motherfucker. You're not going to be able to aim well anyway and when push comes to shove. <laughs> Devil's Advocate, what if they also have an AR-15? Okay, Devil's Advocate, what if they have a rocket launcher? Like, what kind of Devil's Advocate is that? Okay, what if the home invaders are tactically equipped with a rocket launcher? We need nukes. I need to have a nuclear weapon, okay? There's no other way to do it. And by the way, guess what? With the amount of surplus weapons that with the amount of small arm surplus weapons that we have that are beyond like literal fucking ar-15s the m4 or the m16 and all of the other like uh civilian usage uh guns that were created in the aftermath of vietnam we probably will uh, expand on uh guns that civilians can use get ready for fucking grenade launchers okay civilian use grenade launchers Hey, uh, when BLM's coming down your doorstep, you better be ready. You better recognize you're going to need to have a grenade launcher, okay? How come the cops get to have grenade launchers, but I can't <laughs> sleep with an impact grenade under my pillow, liptard? <laughs> exactly. My dad literally has ammo stocked up for when Antifa comes, and we live out in fucking rural Ohio. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you're, I'm sorry, your dad shouldn't have guns, okay? 
Like literally. Anyone who says shit like I need I need this arsenal of weaponry to take down black folk when they come into my neighborhood, like you should not have a gun. After Sandy Hook, the Republic majority Senate stopped gun control reform. Senate is majority Democrat now. Why do you still have no faith in it? Because it doesn't matter. Like you're not going to eliminate the fucking filibuster on an issue that most Americans are are not even aligned on, especially like banning AR-15s. I don't think it's as popular as uh, as as Democrats think they are, despite the fact that universal gun control is incredibly popular. It's like 90 percent and has been 90 percent for a very long time. But get ready for fucking cinema and like, uh, you know, some dumbass hog Democrats to want to put a name for themselves out there. Now we're going to get to some other members of Congress making idiotic arguments. Here is uh, Ted Cruz. What happens in this committee after every mass shooting is Democrats propose taking away guns okay. from law abiding citizens? Like this notion that we're taking away guns from law abiding citizens is so fucking stupid, especially because like it's a law, dumbass. And if you change it, but you are making an argument as to why we shouldn't change it then it would no longer be a law-abiding citizen if they have the fucking gun. That's how laws work. Most people that own one fucking pistol or one fucking rifle to hunt are not going to be anywhere near touched by this, okay? You know who gets hurt by this? Motherfuckers that you all know, and you all know people like this. Everyone in America has a guy like this in their lives that own like 75 fucking AR-15s. They have an entire arsenal. They have suspiciously a lot of World War II memorabilia as well because they're a fan of history i'm calling out a lot of your dads right now wealthy upper middle class instead of buying a fucking jet ski goes out and buys a goddamn gun and like loves fucking around with it loves playing with guns that guy normally we look to people like this like my uncle in turkey who has a hobby with trains okay he has an entire room dedicated to fucking trains little little, little baby trains that he like works on and then you know they fucking go around and, and it's wonderful because the trains don't kill anyone Okay, he just loves trains. He, he loves purchasing them. He loves creating like different scenery. That's great. Why can't gun uh, weebs be the same? Why can't they just like recognize that their hobbies are fucking murdering people and therefore there should be some regulation around it? It's, it's a hobby. And if little toy trains were murdering people, I'm pretty sure that my uncle and other people that love fucking toy trains would most likely say, yeah, it's, uh, this should be regulated. Senator from Connecticut just said, it's time for us to do something. I agree. It is time for us to do something. And every time there's a shooting, we play this ridiculous theater where this committee gets together and proposes a bunch of laws that would do nothing to stop these murders. Senator from Connecticut just said the folks on the other side of the aisle have no solutions. Well, the senator from Connecticut knows that is false. And he knows that's false because Senator Grassley and I together introduced legislation, Grassley Cruz, targeted at violent criminals. Tar yeah, no, uh, we do have solutions, Senator. It's called more guns in the hands of babies. Why are Democrats stopping us from giving babies weapons of mass destruction? It is preposterous that children under the age of 13 outside of states like Nevada, God where God-fearing Americans work and live every goddamn day, cannot give their babies pistols. Sick and fucking tired of it. Targeted at felons, targeted at fugitives, targeted at those with serious mental disease to stop them from getting firearms, to put them in prison when they try to illegally buy guns. What happens in this committee after every mass shooting is Democrats propose taking away guns from law-abiding citizens because that's their political objective. But what they propose, not only does it not reduce crime, it makes it worse. The jurisdictions in this country with the strictest gun control have among the highest rates of crime and murder. When you disarm law-abiding citizens, you make them more likely to be victims. I'm sorry, what? First of all, there needs to be federal regulation, which currently does not exist. I love, like, the Chicago argument, right? This is what the Chicago argument is, like... Well, you know, there's a lot of strict gun control in Chicago where a lot of blacks and browns live, as you know. But it turns out there's a lot of gun violence in Chicago, okay? Well, Chicago doesn't live on an island on its own. You can go across the goddamn state line, purchase a weapon, and come back to Chicago and use that gun pretty easily. Why does America think that the way to fight gun crime is by adding more fuel to the fire with more guns? Because who gives a fuck, okay? That's it. Th that's the reason. Because no one cares. Guns are fun. 
Most people want to keep shooting fun guns. We don't have any other like real issues that we could ever, God forbid, to focus on like, you know, economic issues that uh, cover the broadest of, of American citizens. So we got to fucking talk about like how much fun guns are w without saying that they're fucking fun. We got to make sure that everybody, everybody is talking about guns as though it's like the only way to survive. Also, of course, no other country on the planet exists, so we should never look to uh, examples of other comparable OECD nations and like how they've been able to uh, not have uh, magically not have this much gun violence. And also, do not forget, gun control starts with the police. Okay, I, I make no mistake. I, this is a this is a part of the conversation that uh, rarely ever uh, gets covered. I talk about it every time I talk about gun control. One hundred percent, one thousand percent. Gun control literally fucking starts with the police force. Okay, demilitarize the police. Demilitarize the American people and demilitarize the fucking police. Oh, here, this is the shit that really drives me up a fucking wall. Here, let's talk about this part, okay? John Kennedy is back at it again, baby. Let's go with the with a hot fucking take. Mr. Chairman, thank you for the opportunity. I, I've listened to my my uh, colleagues' comments with interest, and I, I, I join with Senator Feinstein in... in uh, Feinstein and hoping that we can do something about this. But I do think we ought to keep this in perspective. What, what has happened in the last few days, what's happened in the last years, is of course tragic. And I'm not, I'm not trying to perfectly equate these two, but we have a lot of drunk drivers in America that kill a lot of people. We ought to, we ought to try to combat that too. But I think what many folks on my side of the aisle are saying is that the answer is not to get rid of all sober drivers. The answer is to concentrate on the problem. If you drive drunk and don't kill anybody, you go to fucking jail. In order to be able to drive a vehicle, you need to have a license. You need to have registration. You need to have insurance. If we had at least like a fraction of the regulation that revolves around a fucking car and driving a car, which has a tremendous amount of utility beyond fucking murdering people, we would eliminate like 90% of the problems that everyone is talking about. So please, when gun hogs use this argument, please just shove it back down their fucking throat and be like, exactly, we should have the same kind of fucking regulation, okay? Shooting schools, training, demonstrate that you have the capability to fucking use a weapon appropriately care for it appropriately it is very serious and remember you can't drive your fucking gun to school guns have no utility beyond murder cars on the other hand are profoundly important we have had a problem in this world for some time with both domestic and international terrorism many terrorists happen to be muslims Again, statistically untrue, literally does not make any sense to live through the Trump era, especially, and to turn around and be like, many of these terrorists are Muslims. Like, you're out of your fucking mind, dog. Here's how the who the terrorists are. Your constituents in Louisiana, motherfucker. That's who. So that's why he's like, oh, well, white supremacists are not terrorists. They're just uh, having a bad day. Muslims, on the other hand, that's the real problem. No, motherfucker. No. White supremacy is a way 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 more pervasive uh problem in america as it pertains to domestic terror than fucking islamic terror okay incredible take though it doesn't fucking matter it doesn't matter you could literally just be like no muslims muslims are terrifying we need to stop muslim terror when a muslim jihadist blows up a school full of school children we are often told not to condemn all of the actions of those of the muslim faith because of the actions of a few and i agree with that so why doesn't the same rule apply to the hundred million plus gun owners in america who are exercising their constitution motherfucker no one is saying every single gun owner is a fucking psychopathic freak like what is this argument where did this argument come from how far did he have to reach in his ass to pull that out dude Th this notion that like you know every fucking person is is uh saying that all liberals are saying like if you own a gun that means you're a terrorist is fucking psychotic and also really funny coming from the dude who literally just said uh, Muslims are, are doing a lot of terror. It's like, no, they're not. Like, they're not. Pound for pound, white people are doing a fuckload more terror in a predominantly white country. White supremacist terror is way more pervasive. Anti-government right-wing extremism is literally the fucking leading cause, if not the entirety of terror acts in like 2019 and 2018. It's fucking insane. Also, the irony is like, you know, we don't blame all Muslims, but also we need to do a Muslim ban. We need to do a Muslim ban. 
folks. Yeah, you guys remember when the uh, Sharia, when the fucking pro-Sharia jihadists, uh, Wahhabists uh, stormed the, the fucking capital? That was crazy when they did that, remember? Or uh, when that fucking uh, jihadist uh, drove to El Paso in Walmart to kill as many Mexicans as he possibly could? Or when that uh, jihadist went into the fucking synagogue in, uh, in, in Pittsburgh? Remember when all of those things happened? Oh, wait, no, they were literally all white supremacists inbred motherfucker and frankly the people who are already willing to break current laws are going to continue to break those laws they're not going to say oh well the government said i have to go through a background check to do this when they're already willing to sell to criminals or to, to skirt those laws um, just because it's doubly illegal is not going to matter to them I, I just wonder where where this is headed i mean where, where are we actually where are we actually going with with these proposals like this dipshit doesn't fucking care about shooting guns okay I don't give a fuck that he's from he's like acting on the uh, the the uh, acting on behalf of like people from Missouri. Josh Holly is not like organically a guy who needs to fucking shoot guns. I'm sorry. He he doesn't give a fuck. He's it's same with Ted Cruz. These guys literally adopt the gun aesthetic specifically so he can they can uh, win over their voters. That's it. And Americans are turning to their second amendment rights as a way to protect themselves and their families. Many people were so disconcerted with the violence that they saw last year on our streets, the rioting that took place during the summer, and they're fearful. And they want to make certain that they are prepared to protect their families' safety, and they worry the police won't respond fast enough if their communities are victims of an attack so i hate these people so much i just i hate them i i hate them so much dude are you against people owning guns no i'm not i don't know why everyone always fucking says that like i i love the the immediate rush to be like oh you must hate everybody owning guns brother that's what this what's going on you fucking hate people owning guns because you uh you're a fucking goddamn commie who don't want guns even though most commies love guns and want fucking everyone to have guns like no i i i Probably have shot more guns than most uh, people in this chat. Seems like a reasonable question, to be honest. No, I, I, I like, I enjoy shooting guns, okay? I think guns are fun. I think it's important for someone who fucking covers these sorts of uh, atrocities to at least have a working knowledge of how guns work and have a better understanding to understand where fucking gun chuds are coming from and gun enthusiasts are coming from. I'm not a, uh, I'm not the type of person who's like, I fucking hate guns uh, across the board. I think guns are bullshit and should not exist. I mean, I wish guns did not fucking exist. Let's be real. In a perfect world, guns would not exist. Having said that, guns do exist and they are fun to shoot. But there is no fucking rhyme or reason. Yeah. Oh, here, dude. Here you go. This is your, yeah, this is your fucking, uh, this is your guy. This is Josh Hawley. Like 2.30 on a work day and Josh Hawley's 30 miles from Jeff City buying wine. Um... I'm here to get some artisanal cheese for my cheese and wine. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's got some pecs on him, dude. The UK and Australia banned them outright after mass shootings. Why is it hard for the USA? Because we are not a real country, okay? We are a fake country. We are just a mishmash of different corporate interests that get together and loosely tie one another, uh, loosely tie ourselves to some, some fucking notion of like a uh, national identity. That's why we are different than other countries who have been able to responsibly take action, and deal with a fucking problem. We are not a real country. We are fake. We are built dipperly. We are 100% built dipperly. We, we just have a bunch of fucking corporate interests that we operate on, or, or at least our government operates at the behest of, and uh, we constantly fucking recognize that reality. So we constantly talk about other dumb shit over and over again to make it seem like, uh, you know, there's some change happening, but ultimately it's just, you know, no, no actual change will ever occur. Just put on your fucking furry costume and go to your dumb fucking Ku Klux Klan rally gun shows and shut the fuck up. And if you keep this up, I'm going to keep saying assault rifle 15 and fucking magazine. And I'm going to use magazine and clip interchangeably. So you fucking, your brain explodes.